Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play Star Fox 64. In today's bonus episode, we're going to be taking a look at Expert Mode, a new difficulty that unlocks once we beat the normal game of Star Fox 64 with all the medals. But before we go ahead and jump into the main game here, I wanted to go ahead and show off the alternate title screen. You unlock this for getting all the medals in Expert Mode. That's right, Normal Mode and Expert Mode do not share medals. You have to get medals for each difficulty in this game, but if you want to be honest, getting the medals in Expert Mode really isn't that much harder, and we'll go into why later on. So, here on the main game and sound, as you see, we have arrows now. So we press left or right, doesn't matter which way, we unlock Expert Mode. In particular, if we go down here for the sound and hit Expert, and then we go into training. Training's actually going to change. So now, if I fly down just like this, notice how I destroyed a wing immediately. That is because in expert mode, your wings immediately get destroyed as soon as they take damage. So this is one of the biggest things about expert mode that makes it much harder compared to the normal difficulty. But as you can see, you can go ahead and go in the training mode via the expert difficulty to go ahead and get a feel of the differences between normal and expert. But now let's just go ahead and jump straight into the main game here. Let's go ahead and skip all the cutscenes and just go straight to Corneria. So Expert Mode here plays basically the same as normal difficulty. Nothing really different in terms of the story, but they definitely do ramp up that difficulty. As mentioned in the training mode, any damage your wing takes whatsoever, it will immediately get destroyed. So you have to be very careful about wings in this mode. Make sure nothing flies into you, because if anything just flies into your ship off screen, that's going to be insta wind damage, and you do not want that to happen. But they do throw more enemies at you in this mode, definitely make things harder on you. So that's one thing you have to definitely be keeping in mind, but the side effect of them throwing more enemies at you here in expert mode, it makes it easier for you actually to get the metal now in each stage, and that's simply just because with more enemies on the screen, this just makes it easier for you to shoot down more stuff here just to get the metal. The harder thing about expert mode is just surviving, if you want to be honest. So I find just getting through the stages to be harder than getting the metal. So we're going to go ahead and just run through the first stage here just so you can get a good idea at how expert mode does play out. But as you can see so far, we just have a lot of stuff coming at us, which really does help for us just to rack up those points really, really fast. So that really does help. But another thing you may have noticed there is I didn't get a bomb drop flying through that little archway. Instead, I got some health recovery there. That's another thing they change in expert mode. Certain things that would drop items now either don't drop any items or they change what the item is to make it much harder on the player. So that case there, I would have got a smart bomb and this was normal difficulty, but instead I just got a health refill. So you have to keep that in mind as well going to certain sections. You have to be very mindful about these item changes because some areas just don't give you anything at all and those areas could have been what you relied on the normal game just to give you all of your refills that you would have needed in a level. So that's a big thing to keep in mind. Routing might be slightly different if you're playing through these stages. It really just kind of depends on your play style. But there, just one tiny little thing, and I immediately destroy all my wings. You have to be very careful about your flying. Any kind of mistakes that you make as the user will definitely shine through in this mode because it just... It hurts so much to lose your wings. It is so, so bad to lose your wings in this mode. Luckily, you do get your wings back when you go on to the new stage, but it is just very punishing when you don't have any wings to work with, especially if you had a laser upgrade and then you just lose your lasers because of losing your wings. It is a very, very punishing thing. Well, we made it to the end of the stage here, and as you can see, I have 188 points. That is a lot of points. We're going to have a much higher score coming out of Corneria compared to our main run going through this route. It is insane of how many points you can get in expert mode. This is why I said earlier, don't worry about getting the medals all too much because the medals are slightly easier to get in some cases here than they are in the normal difficulty. And that's just because of all the enemies they throw at you. It just gives you so many more point opportunities. It's just honestly harder for you to survive in expert mode compared to just getting medals. 
So it just takes a while to get all those medals again, and you don't have to. Because all you get for getting all the medals is two things, really. One, you get yourself an alternative title screen, which isn't really that big of a deal, so if you don't care about the extra title screen change, don't worry about getting the medals at that point. But another thing you get is an extra thing for multiplayer. And it doesn't matter, once again, about multiplayer. If you don't care about the multiplayer stuff, then you don't need to do expert mode. And even then, it's not getting medals. It's getting a certain objective cleared. And that's it. There are two extra things you can unlock for the multiplayer mode, which is a Landmaster and On Foot Missions. And they require you to get a medal on a very specific level, the final level in the game, Venom. If you get a medal there in those respectful difficulties, then you unlock the extra thing in the multiplayer mode. That is it. You do not have to worry about getting medals in any other stage. And Venom is honestly one of the easiest stages in the whole game to get a medal on. Because if you go into Venom via the hard path, you are guaranteed to get a medal just from killing everything fast enough. You will have more than enough points to get out of that stage with over 200 points and you'll easily get the medal because of it. But we cleared corn area, so that's one level down, but just to go into specifics here, I do want to mention another couple of things about expert mode. One thing is that you have to be very careful about all range mode stages in expert mode. You can easily just be doing a U-turn, and then out of nowhere, an enemy ship could fly into your direction and just destroy your wings without notice. It is very, very punishing in all range mode stages to play in expert mode. You can't see what's coming, and it just feels very unfair just to do a U-turn and lose your wings. And certain areas, as I mentioned before, they either drop different items or don't drop any items at all. One of the biggest examples I can think of of this is the warp gate in Medio. At the very end of the warp gate in the second stage of the game, Medio, you would have all these asteroids that you would shoot in the normal difficulty, which would give you a bunch of drops. A bunch of health refills, smart bombs, laser upgrades. But in expert mode, it gives you nothing at all. They're just there for points. Those asteroids don't give you any items in expert mode anymore. So, moments like that definitely make this more punishing as well to play through the game on expert. But that's pretty much the only major changes. Fox does have sunglasses on as we see in those cutscenes. So, he does definitely look different. And it makes the final cutscenes where he's talking to his father a little weird. Because basically, up, both Fox and James McCloud have identical father? portraits in this game. So it's a little confusing to look at their portraits and think, who's talking here? If you had the volume very low on your TV. Because they look basically the same, if you want to be honest. But if you do beat Star Fox 64 on expert difficulty, depending on your route, you'll get a different end card. So if you beat the game on the easy mode, you'll go ahead and get this title card. And it's a pretty nice looking title card at the end of the game, but if you beat the game on the hard path, then you'll get this title card instead, which is a very rewarding title card to see. It really makes you feel accomplished for beating the entirety of Star Fox 64. But one more thing I want to go ahead and mention here is that if we go down to the sound option, normally when you click onto this mode, then you get a bunch of sound settings to go ahead and mess around with. But if you go ahead and select expert here and then click into the sound options, you get yourself a soundtrack here. So this is the sound test of the game and we can go ahead and just listen to a bunch of different tunes or just some of the extra things that the game has to offer. And this is a nice little extra you get from also unlocking expert mode. You don't have to be all of expert mode to get the sound test. You just have to unlock expert mode to gain access to this option in particular. But yeah, that's the extra content here in the N64 version of Star Fox 64. And uh, yeah, expert mode is definitely a very challenging thing to go through. But it does feel rewarding at the end to be able to beat the game on this hard difficulty mode. Your wings are super paper thin, so it makes you definitely play the game a lot more careful. But if you can do so, then this mode can feel very rewarding and in some ways give you a bigger rush than the normal mode can offer because of just how easy it can be in certain levels to rack up all those points really fast to easily get yourself some medals. But with that said, that's going to do it for this video. So 
join me here for another bonus episode of Let's Play Star Fox 64, where we take a look at the 3DS version of this game, Star Fox 64 3D. I'll see you guys next time.